Galba was the sixth Roman emperor, who assumed the throne following Emperor Nero's suicide. With the death of Emperor Nero, the Julio-Claudian dynasty officially ended, leaving the Roman Empire without a successor. With the help of the army, Galba quickly rose. Servius Sulpicius Galba was born into a wealthy family to Gaius Sulpicius Galba and Mummia Achaica. Galba had an older brother, who committed suicide at a young age, due to spending his entire fortune, and then falling out of favor with the Tiberius. Emperor Caligula appointed him as a commander of a legion in Upper Germany, something that admired him to the young emperor. Galba ran alongside Caligula's chariot for 20 miles. As commander of the regions of Upper Germany, Galba gained a reputation as a disciplinarian. His reputation as a commander grew. Upon the death of Caligula, many advised him to take the throne, but he refused. A gesture that earned the respect of Emperor Claudius. For this loyalty, Claudius appointed him proconsul of Africa, with orders to suppress a series of revolts. Galba retired from public service, and eventually returned to service at Nero's request to govern Hispania. He held the position for eight years, but as the empire began to crumble under the poor leadership of Nero, many of the provincial governors began to rebel. Marcus Salvius Otho, governor of Lusitania and Gaius Julius Vindex, one of the governors of Gaul appealed to Galba to overthrow Nero. Nero committed suicide with help from secretary. Galba dropped the title of governor-general and assumed the title of Caesar. With the assistance of Otho, Galba raised additional legions and marched into Rome, and with the news of Nero's death verified, he assumed the throne. When Galba's reign began, his paramount goal was to bring order back to the Roman Empire, and fill the state treasury, which had been drained by Nero. Galba attracted much criticism to his unfavorable methods of raising money, such as imposing hefty levies, against provinces who had not immediately accepted him as emperor. He demanded tribute from many of the towns he had conquered, keeping the money for himself. He also seized money from many of the people Nero had lavished. He demanded tribute from many of the towns he had conquered, keeping the money for himself. He also seized money from many of the people Nero had lavished. Galba and Vinius took the office of consul, the legions of Upper Germany refused to swear loyalty to Galba. They collapsed his statues, demanding that a new emperor be chosen. Galba tried to ensure his authority as emperor, by adopting the nobleman Lucius Calpurnius Piso Licinianus as his successor. Piso was from a prestigious background, and was chosen largely due to his influence with the Roman Senate. This act angered his longtime supporter Otho, who had considered himself the rightful successor. Otho was popular with Rome's military, so he formed an alliance with the Praetorian Guard, who hailed him as emperor, but on a promise of monetary reward. Galba, Piso, and all their advisers were attacked, and killed at the Roman Forum by the Praetorian traitors, and their heads were brought to Otho. Galba's remains were taken by one of his servants, and buried alongside the Aurelian Road, and Otho became the next emperor of the Roman Empire. Galba had served less than seven months, becoming the first in a line, of what would later become known as the Year of the Four Emperors. Galba's last words, strike, if it be for the good of the Romans.